Welcome to Time Beat Breaking News Channel. Here are our breaking news today. 1. U.S. will refund $1 billion to California's struggling bullet train. 2. The Capitol incident on January 6, a Chicago police officer has been charged. The United States, U.S. will refund $1 billion to California's struggling bullet train. Governor Gavin Newsom said that the federal government has agreed to restore roughly $1 billion in funding for California's controversial bullet train. Newsom announced Thursday night that the U.S. Department of Transportation has reached an agreement to resume funding for the high-speed rail project that had been withdrawn by the Trump administration in 2019. Newsom said in a statement that the reinstatement of $929 million in grant funds will continue to promote job creation, accelerate the project, and move California one step closer to getting trains running as soon as feasible. California voters approved over $10 billion in bond money in 2008 to fund the construction of a high-speed rail line connecting Los Angeles and San Francisco, which was scheduled to be operational by 2020. The project, however, was beset by cost overruns and delays. Trains are now expected to run on a route through the state's Central Valley Agricultural Region by 2029, according to officials. The portion has been dubbed a train to nowhere by critics, but advocates argue that it is a vital test and forerunner to connecting more populated areas. According to the project's business strategy, environmental approval for the 500-mile, 805-kilometer stretch between Los Angeles and San Francisco will be granted by 2023. The complete line's completion is contingent on money and other unknowns. The United States. The Capitol incident on January 6, a Chicago police officer has been charged. In connection with the January 6 incident at the U.S. Capitol in Washington, a Chicago police officer was arrested at his residence on Friday morning and faces five federal misdemeanor charges. Carol Schwiezik is accused of illegally entering or lingering in a restricted facility or on Capitol grounds, as well as aggressive entry and unruly behavior. According to Assistant U.S. Attorney Joseph D. Fitzpatrick of the Northern District of Illinois, Schwiezik appeared in court Friday morning before Magistrate Judge Gabriel Fuentes in Chicago and was ordered freed on a personal recognizance bail. Through geolocation and communication records related with his Google email account and phone, the FBI was able to locate down Schwiezik. According to the court filing, the police officer went to the Capitol the night before the riot and took 44 images, which he emailed to three people. According to the criminal complaint, Schwiezik entered Senator Jeff Merkley's office on January 6 and walked through the Capitol crypt, took a selfie of himself inside the Capitol, and then exiting through a shattered window. After learning about Schwiezik's alleged involvement in the disturbance, Chicago Police Superintendent David Brown said Schwiezik was relieved of his police duties on June 2nd Street. Thank you for watching. We help you stay up to date all the news hourly. Please subscribe our channel to follow up the latest one.